Okay. I broke out my crappy old laptop because there's something I want to show you guys. This program here. called Distant Suns. I got this from a friend. When you open it, you'll always click cancel on this part. But as you can see, it shows you the night sky. But this program is is incredible. Like, it's very old. I forget. I'm, I'm not sure how old, but it's old. It has a number of features such as this. This is basically a map of all the constellations and all of the planets in their positions in the sky. It's constructed as a, a 3D model and it moves. There's Orion. You can click on any star and it'll tell you which star it is. some information about it. And there's a, there's also a number of views you can observe our solar system in. You can see the planets there, a couple of them lined up, alright, <clears throat> and you can, fa you can move to the position of any planet you want to see. See, I knew that was Mars. Uh, One of my favorite things about this is if you go to your view, viewpoint, look down, we'll go middle, middle planets. This shows you a model of the solar system to scale. And it's very hard to see it to scale because when you show all the orbits of the outer planets, the inner planets are just a blur. So it's it's not, as e it's not easy to show it, everything to scale. Now, as you can see, the solar disk is stretched in this direction. Everything kind of, kind of bows out this way and then comes back in. Something over here must have pulled on the on the disc at some point wonder what that could have been 
But that's just an educated guess. Just from this observation. But here's something that I like to like to do for fun. It has this feature where you can watch the passage of time. I'm not sure how it works. <laughs> it's been a while. So I've done this. There. What did I do? Oh. Well, that's a just parameters um, so they go slower let's say five hours or no let's say it's 20 hours this is 20 hours every click and I'm going to look at Jupiter How do I get back to that? I can't remember. No. No. Oh well, screw it, play. So anyways, that's Distant Suns. I think it's a really neat little program for the aspiring astronomer.